me and Anthony were talking about the moment I've, I've given up uh, alcohol for a couple of weeks just to drop a few pounds and just so I can have a clear brain. That was brain. the scream you heard from me. Yeah, just to, <laughs> just, to, just to have a clear brain for a couple of weeks before the special. But And then I've been on the road for two weeks and I, I've picked up three times and um, I... Have you ever had sex where you're sober and, and they're drunk? I've never done this in my whole life. It's like... <laughs> It's like rape without the... Guilt. Uh, no, not the guilt. <laughs> without the justification of being drunk. Like, there is. It's rape, rape with the guilt. Because the whole time, they're passing in and out of consciousness. You're just pulling their hair up going... Uh, uh, <laughs> You sure you're into this? <laughs> yeah. You're positive. Oh, yeah, okay. Put your head back down. It's rape without the charges. Without the charm. There uh, is There is something about that when if you, if both if both of you are drunk and yeah. you're rolling around, there's this mutual, all right, we're hammered kind of a thing. But if you're not drunk and that girl is ripped, it is just like, Ridiculous. all right, just get this over with, shut up. Uh, whatever. J j yeah, it's I, so I, awkward. What do, and what do sober people do? How do they meet each other? How do they get together? And how do they have sex? Yeah. Like, the first time, you've got to be plastered, right? Yeah, I, I would think so. you got to have just, a few in you. Is it just me on this one? No. no, no I, 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 I feel, I'm, I feel I'm like right I've, with you. I, it does feel like I've slipped into material. No, this is true. I'm right <laughs> with you. I, I, I also there was this girl in Cleveland who I um I went out with on the Friday night and I really liked her and then I go out with her on the Saturday night and she wouldn't have sex with me then after two days together and then she's like like I still want to see you and I'm like well why aren't we having sex and she goes I don't think we're ready and I'm like I'm here for two days <laughs> <laughs> this is as ready as we get this is this is the whole romance here it is we got to confine like like on the Titanic sunk after two days like, how, <laughs> how big a romance was that. Or a comedian, two days is like you two know, days is everything. Regular guys in a relationship for a year. I had to kick her out of the, the hotel and go. If you're not going to sleep with me, you have to leave because I'm an adult. And if you're not going to sex with me, then I have no interest in talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know it feels bad, but that's the reality of it. What's going to happen in the morning? I'm going to chat to her more. I'm going to see how crap she looks in the morning without makeup and not have sex with her. That's going to add to your appeal. <laughs> At least I would have had happy memories before. What are you sleeping in my bed for? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just sleep together. No, no. Will unless I, unless I can wank in the corner, I don't want you in the room. <laughs> well, that's the thing when they always say, uh, you know, look, nothing's going to happen. Like, no, I don't want anything to happen. Let's just crash. And that really annoys them. They're like, wait a minute, wait, he's not going to, he doesn't want to bang me? Look at you, and you turn it around. Seven out of ten times. That you're nailing them within 10 well, minutes. Most wow. most Always started out, the, no, I don't want to have sex. We just met. I mean, come on. We, we don't even know each other. Why would we do that? Let's just crash. <laughs> oh, oh, and then the next magnificent. thing, though, they're all over your mule. Do, do, do you guys as comics do the same thing when you're in, in bed with a girl in a hotel where she goes, oh, I bet you go from town to town and just have sex with uh, girls in different... Do you deny it? No. I I'm denied tired. it for years. I'm tired of denying and it. And now I go, yes, in every town I try to, and you're just one of many. <laughs> and, and it makes them feel small, but I like that. No, or I just go, I bet you bang every comic every week. How do I know you don't oh, do that? Oh, like, no, I don't. I go, well, you're here with me, and you just met me. Flartine is the turn it around uh, guy. Always, yeah, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Any, any kind of argument with your chick, you just turn you it just around, turn make it, it their around. fault. Yeah. And then they're crying, go, how did this get turned on me? You just banged my friend, and somehow it's my fault? <laughs> you brought, always. You brought her around. Exactly. <laughs> you were looking, the, you threw the garbage out, you were out for a couple minutes. <laughs> 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 You're a veteran, huh? Uh, well, uh, you a know. road veteran. Girl, girls always say that thing, they, go, they do say that sentence where they go, I, I don't normally do this. Yeah. Uh, well, I want some tramp who normally does. I don't want an inexperienced <laughs> person. Can you tell me that you have? Uh, I, not the kind I feel of like girl. I have enough diseases to kill off yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, you always got to walk them downstairs because, you know, you never know if these girls are going to cry rape at the hotel after you're done with them. Go walk them out and go to the front desk. Um, and make sure you go over there and say, hey, I need a wake-up call for 6 a.m. So, the, you know, the guy behind the desk sees you guys. The girl's not crying. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then you crack a joke like, hey, I go, hey, d uh, do I look like Brad Pitt? And they're like, no. And I go, and I turn around. I go, how about from this? I go, just something stupid. And we're all, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, she, yeah. she thinks I'm Brad Pitt. And, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then she's laughing. And then she wants to press charge. Like, hey, she was at the front desk. Look yeah. at the video. Be funny if who, Brad Pitt who laughs? Rape? <laughs> <laughs> who yeah, laughs yeah, yeah, after yeah. they just got raped? Yeah. So yeah, you got yeah, that, well, you know, 
Unless you've held a mic for that for it, going, you better laugh. She was very despondent at the time. She did not know what to do and how to react. Some people react differently to these situations, and she reacted to her horror with laughter. I'm doing a very Jewish lawyer. Yeah. I, when I was in New York, the first time I ever came out, no, 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 no. I picked up two girls from Caroline's. And it's very, very rare you get the three thing going on, right? But to convince them to have a threesome, I had to keep on doing shots and stuff like that. Ooh. It turned out they drank better than me. I was plastered. Yeah. They took me back to the hotel and they stole my video camera. So if you're out there, girls, I'm still up oh, for it. Yeah. Even after the crime. <laughs> Even after the crime. <laughs> Even after the crime. I, I forgive you. Uh, <laughs> hey, I was in on a, a Jim Jeffries uh, attempt but, uh, one day at the bar. We were, we were, we were both trying... And just failing miserably. <laughs> I think we were a little too drunk. Halloween. <laughs> was that Halloween? One of them wrote. One of, one girl wrote on my uh, on my Facebook. Wrote uh, on my fan page. Wrote uh, I made out with Jim Jeffries at Halloween. And then I went. I did make out. With it. <laughs> I, was, I was so plastered. <laughs> that thing I was going. All right, Anthony. If we work as a team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. See these two over here. We're gonna walk up over the boys, get some drinks, and uh, I'll use my charming accent. <laughs> they won't stand a chance. <laughs> I do. I do that. I think I start thinking of like Sean Connery, and I start walking up, going, "Hello, ladies. <laughs> How are you? Oh, and oh. where are you from?" Where are you from? Oh, I'm from all over. Uh, where do you want me to be from, <laughs> bird? Oh, I do, oh, I do that. Me bird. You ever been with an Australian man? Where <laughs> I'm big down under. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, oh, it's horrible, man. <laughs> horrible drunk I am. Oh, that's <laughs> funny, man. Hey, we might have found uh, the girl that stole your video camera. What? Really? What? 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 Uh, Jessica. Hi. Hi. Were you one of the... the Girls that went home with uh, Jeffries after Caroline's last year? Yep, me and my friend Jen. It is, right? She has my camera. Oh, we didn't take your camera. We took your CDs. <laughs> Someone's, no, someone took my video camera. You're fessing up to stealing something, so you, your credibility is shot. There, so was, probably there, took the there was the Sony DVD camera, the ones that you put the little DVDs in that wasn't there in the morning. And I, I could, anyone could have taken advantage of me, mind you. <laughs> How old are you and your friend? Uh, well, I'm 26. 15. 25. Yeah, I, I, come 15. On. I met him at a pageant. <laughs> how old is your friend? She's uh, 14. No, come no, on. I how old is your friend? Yeah. 25, 25, 25. Okay, so do you remember these girls, Jim? I, I don't. I remember the situation. Did you do I, anything I, with Jim? I, I cannot remember what the girls yeah, looked like. Jessica. I was, I was plastered drunk. Jessica. Like, I, we, we closed down Caroline's and then we went to Playwrights. I don't even know where Playwrights... Right. I bet you that's her. That's Playwrights uh, around the corner. No, it's, yeah. it's definitely her. Jessica, work, uh, walk us through it, because Jeffrey's uh, doesn't remember anything. Well, he was on your show. It was like the week he was on your show twice, yep. and I thought he was hysterical, so convinced my friend to go to Caroline's on a You're Sunday. welcome, we by the way. No, I'm, Thank you very I'm much. No, I'm saying you're welcome to Jim. Yeah, you're always he, you're, you're welcome. He, like, we're, <laughs> we drank all day. We went there, drank. so embarrassing. Okay. Met him. We met him, and he was really friendly. Uh, asked us to pay for a drink, so we did, and then we just kept drinking. Um, Jim told us his life story, pretty much. Started singing show tunes in Caroline. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then finally the bartender was like, you guys got to leave, we have to go. So then we went to Playwright. Mm -hmm. um, but we pretty much drank and chain smoked all night talking about his life story. It's pretty exciting. And wait, did, you went back to his room, so yeah, keep we going. Let's go. Yeah, keep going. We went back to his room, okay, the three of us. Yeah. And... <laughs> Jim, do you not remember this? I, I can't remember. I'm, I'm a drunk. I'm a horrible, <laughs> horrible. I can't remember anything past waking up and not get. I can't remember anything before waking up and losing stuff. Wow. Well, pretty, pretty much Jen and I decided we live in Westchester, so uh, we missed our last train. So I pretty much told Jen, listen, you have to give it up. So we have somewhere to sleep tonight. Jen agreed. Uh, we were no, see, that's not how I remember. I remember. Wow. It was going on. All right, wait. Let her, let her go. So Jen agrees. Keep going, Jessica. So we go back to the hotel room, and sorry to disappoint, guys, all three of us passed out drunk. Oh, so it wasn't just me. You guys you, you guys were as drunk as I was. Were you, were you, I, I threw up in your sink. You threw up in the sink. Oh, uh, that this is a what a rock star. Holy <laughs> crap, man. You rule. This is a great story. Were you all naked in bed, passed out? Um, A little bit. I mean, you know. 
what? As, as much as we could be before he passed out drunk. If you would have died, if Jim well, would have died that night, he'd have been a legend. Yeah. I, well, look, look, I'm still going to be at the Skirball Center on uh, <laughs> Saturday. Give it a second try. You if, yeah. you, I, I assume if you were good enough when I was drunk, then I'm getting drunk on Saturday. So, uh, <laughs> and he has a lot better things for you to steal. Yeah, he's got new, <laughs> he's got new CDs you could steal. He's got new clothes, I see, too. <laughs> he's got a Blu-ray player you yeah. can lift. Hold, <laughs> hold on. There's, there's a little more left here. So you guys pass out. You're a bit naked. You don't really do doing much with Jim Jeffries, right? No. So then, like, 5 o'clock rolls around. Jen becomes conscious again, decides to go down to the front desk to ask, ask where the next train is. They were no help. So then she came back to the room at some point. I don't remember. She's, like, on the floor. I'm on the other side of the floor. We both end up, Jen and I end up flooding on the floor to keep warm. Um, the phone rings at 6 to wake us up, and they pop up to answer, and Jim wakes up screaming and goes, bloody hell, <laughs> these two girls. And how do you, you get this? You can't startle me. I'm not a good person. Remember when I told that story about the break in with the knife mm -hmm. and all yeah. that? Ever since then, I'm a mm. mess. Yeah. If if yeah. you try to wake me up, I'll scream. I will punch you. Yeah. I will just, especially if I'm hungover, I'm horrible. Yeah. There now, was no punching, but he was pretty scared. So what about mm. this, this stolen item? What happened? Yeah. How do you get the so, item out of his room? So, okay, so then Jen and I haul ass to the train station. A cab would not take us to the train because he thought we were hookers. He flat well. out denied driving us anywhere. We get to, uh, well, we close, get to... close enough. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're out of the hotel, which is fine, but how do you get the CDs? <laughs> oh, that um, just so, my room. I don't know. Jen, okay, apparently, so I get to Grand Central. Jen's like looking through her purse. I look in her purse. I'm like, what is that? Oh, She's okay. like, oh, it's for you. It's a parting gift. I'm like, excuse me? She's like, well, I was looking through his drawers so, trying to find a train schedule or something, and I found these CDs. I thought he would. I, I think thing. your friend stole my oh, video she, camera. Uh, she stole my video, my she video so camera stole was gone. And I she still took got the, the CD for she it. The, camera. the video camera was gone. Yeah, your friend moment. took it. She definitely would have told me that she took it. No, nah, she took it. Right, yeah, yeah. No, she wouldn't have told you about the CDs because you saw them in the bag. What were the you, CDs? Oh, that's true. That's true. I should ask her. What were on the CDs? I just want to stand up. Oh, the stand up CDs. Stand up. They were awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You really That's think so? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least your comedy was awesome, even though you passed out. Do you really think... Wait. That's the best review I've ever had from a girl who didn't sleep with me who passed out in my bed. Yeah. yeah. The other girl's got your camera. It's so obvious. Do you so really, obvious. Wait, Jessica, do you really think that your friend was looking through his drawers for a train schedule? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. She was looking yeah. for money. Probably not. Oh, oh my God. She would have just got his pants pocket, right? Your friend's a thief. Yeah, your friend's a thief. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. She's a fun girl, though, so. Oh, yeah, she's a fun girl. Yeah, she doesn't want to bang you, and she steals your CD. She's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to hang with her. <laughs> hey, what can, what can they steal this weekend, uh, Jim? Um, you haven't drank in a while, so it's I only going to take a little bit well, for no, you to I, be. I'm, I'm getting smashed up on Saturday. Yeah, so the show. Yeah. you got another great opportunity, Jessica. Where are you going to be Saturday? <laughs> um, I'm going to be at the Skirball Center, and tickets are available at Jim Jeffries at BroadwayVideo.com. And the Skirball yeah. Center is in uh, it's NYU. It's right off of it's right near Laguardia and uh, and West Fourth uh, Street at Washington Square Park. It's in NYU. It's a brand new theater, like three years old. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the next parting gift will be chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she won't bang you, so just throw it on you. <laughs> 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 Well, I won't bring Jen this time. She's moving to L.A. tomorrow, so. Uh, she won't steal anything. But well, well, tell Jen that I live in L.A. now. So if oh. she wants to uh, steal anything. She has, your, she has your phone number. Her a long-distance threesome. That's tell, nice. tell, her, tell her to call. I'll tell her to call when she gets there. Why is, she going, why, why is she going to L.A.? So I can she, punch her in the head uh, so I get my camera gonna... back? <laughs> Better stuff to steal. Exactly. She's hoping that would happen. Why is she, she wants to be a filmmaker with Jim's camera. <laughs> 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 She actually said, yeah, I think I'm, t I'm picking up uh, amateur filmmaking. Oh, great. She's a porn girl. You know that, right? She's doing she like... so stole your camera, dude. Yeah, she's doing like $500 porn videos. At least we know that I was telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much all right. the show. Yeah, show's about get, getting did, to the bottom of things. Did Jim get naked at all? Um, No, he couldn't. What do you mean he couldn't? What do you mean? It's not like an erection. <laughs> like, like, no matter how he couldn't get his pants off. This never <laughs> happens to me. He couldn't walk. He couldn't walk. We drank, we drank them under the table pretty much. Yeah, they did do that. Wow. Oh, well. That's a good story. What a great opportunity that was just, like, blown by alcohol. I know, exactly. But Damn. the thing is, it's it's that little dance you do with alcohol. If I didn't have any, if there was no alcohol involved, the opportunity wouldn't have come up, come up. 
And oh, then yeah. you, no, can, no, no. you can drink past the opportunity as line. well as a fine line. You got. I always said that there's a graph that goes up. That things will get better. You'll your performance at certain things will get better yeah. as you drink, especially bar related things. And picking up girls is a bar related right. thing. Playing darts. Things yeah. like that. You'll get better, 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 better. And then instantly, wham, wham. the graph yeah. drops yeah. off in one second. You play darts really well. Next thing you know, there's a family of four dead. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> family of three would have been good. Why? Because you only shoot three darts at a time. Oh, oh, yeah, I just no, had no. a drunk driving accident. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I thought you meant hit I, him in the head with darts. No. I, I always thought hit him in the head no. with darts. I, no, no, I, I meant that you've played darts really well, and it's a great night, and the drop-off is right. you, you're picking different color hair out of the grill. When you that, the okay, grill. now I got <laughs> the old patent leather shoe and the hair ribbon. <laughs> okay. I'm wondering how that happens. Well, there's a lollipop and a Timex watch. Uh-oh, someone was holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>